What's up guys, this is Soundwave Jordan here and we are back once again with some more gaming news to discuss and once again we are going to be talking about Darksiders 3. For those who do not know, Darksiders 3 made his debut at Gamescom 2018 which was held in the middle of last week and ended yesterday, Sunday. And of course, Gunfire Games revealed many things regarding the game, they showed lots of gameplay fresh gameplay, fresh hands-on experience for everybody, and pretty much everyone who was able to attend the Gamescom event, they had their chance to actually play Darksiders 3. And judging from what I've seen, this has been favorable reviews, it's been great feedback, a lot of people are impressed with the game. And this video right here is pretty much going to be talking about a summary of what happened, pretty much the basis of what happened at Gamescom, and just some of the things that we saw at Gamescom regarding Darksiders 3. Before I go on though, I want to let you guys know that I started school, I'm back in my semester, and of course, you know, things will be different in terms of scheduling and everything along those lines. So my videos will more likely be uploaded in the afternoon instead of early in the morning as I usually do. But you know, I'm still trying to manage my time properly. So just stay tuned, follow me on Twitter for anything. Just stay tuned for anything. Besides that, let's actually get back to Dark Side Street. We've seen lots of gameplay so far. We've seen the sins, we've seen gameplay regarding the Flame Hollow, as well as we've seen some of the characters that we are going to be encountering for the first time in the franchise. And during its Gamescom event, we saw many new things that Gunfire Games decided to showcase. One of the things we saw was another sin reveal. We actually saw Envy for the first time. Envy is another sin and that's pretty much jealousy. And she resembles a crow-like figure, something along those lines. And you can tell that her behavior resembles an envious person, a person who is strongly filled with jealousy. She kept, she kept on saying, this is mine, this is mine, stay back, horseman, everything like that. And I'm liking the fact that they're actually making these characters, these words, these sins, feel alive if you guys get what i'm saying they did the same thing with wrath they did the same thing with sloth as well so right now we've seen three of the seven sins and we need to see gluttony we need to see pride we need to see lust and lastly we need to see ah oh, i can't get the last one ah oh, i can't get the last one i'm sorry but if you guys know it let me know i can't get the last one I just named six right there maybe i'll remember throughout the video it doesn't matter but we've seen nv for the first time and she looks different and you know I like the fact they're actually bringing these characters to life. They actually make them feel lifelike as we're actually engaging onto them as we are the horsemen. And I'm really enjoying that gameplay experience that Gunfire Games is providing for us. During our encounter with Envy, that was pretty much a tutorial of the game. That's right, Envy is actually one of the characters, not characters, but one of the first sins you will be battling in the game, and that is in the beginning of the game, the introduction of the game. If you guys can clearly see from this gameplay right here, this is the beginning tutorial stage of the game where people who haven't played Darksiders in their first time will be able to experience what it's like to play this game. You know, they pretty much give you the basic combos, what type of combos you can do, maneuvering around the map, how to maneuver against enemies. This is pretty much your tutorial stage for Darksiders. And although I don't need it, it's good for those who actually want to get into the franchise for the first time because Darksiders is a huge story with many gameplay elements. And of course, I feel like some form of a tutorial is needed, especially for the newcomers. For those who are just joining the Darksiders franchise, this is a perfect opportunity for you because you have Darksiders 1 and 2 available for Xbox One and PS4. And now you're going to have Darksiders 3 with availability on November 27th. So that's going to be awesome for you guys. For those who haven't played Darksiders franchise, it's freaking awesome. So I'm pretty happy about that. That's pretty much the whole beginning scenario, the beginning stage. And it's crazy too because in this gameplay clip, you guys can actually see in the beginning of it, Fury crash landed on Earth. And she does not like Earth at all. She says she doesn't even care for the humans which i found rather interesting so judging for the gameplay that we actually been looking at for the latest gamescom feed we've noticed that theory's behavior is a bit of passive aggressive not passive aggressive but she's a bit more aggressive and her attitude kind of it kind of stinks in a way you know she's I guess the perfect word for it is fury. She's she's a bit sassy, not in a girlish way, more of a tough tough way. If you guys get what I'm saying, and is actually resembling her as a more of a intimidating foe. She's not going to be your stereotypical female character archetype. She's actually an intimidating character that you do not want to mess around with and who gets down to business, in which I highly respect. I like those type of female archetypes inside my games, movies, shows in general. It's just pretty darn awesome to see that they can expand upon the general 
female archetype if you guys get what I'm saying. So I'm pretty happy about that. We notice more of her behavior when she encounters Envy, as well as we also notice some other things that will showcase that Gamescom. For those who do not know, the Gamescom trailer was released, and when they did release it, of course they showed many things. Pretty much they showed a variety of things that would showcase that Gamescom. It was pretty much your compilation trailer of everything that happened at Gamescom. And one of the things in the trailer that I spotted immediately was the fact that we actually get to see death and war surrounding Fury. We don't see Strife, which kind of sucks because I actually want to see an in-game version of him, but we see war and death surrounding Fury, and I want to guess that they're actually having some type of discussing, not discussing, but discussion possibly, I'm not sure, but the fact that we see them together shows that this may potentially be something huge because as I mentioned in my last Q&A video regarding Darksiders 3, they mentioned that this game right here will pretty much give us the a nice conclusion of what's been going on with war and death and pretty much set the tone of what's going to be happening with the horsemen of the apocalypse and i'm looking forward to this story unraveling because there's a lot more to it than meets the eye i believe that this game is not going to be revolving around the sins only we have characters such as abraxas and we also have war and death stepping in from what we've seen in the trailer so something must be going on Darksiders, it's always about the mysterious plots, and that's what I love about the franchise, so I will be looking forward to that. Other than that, like I said, we've been seeing lots of gameplay clips. I will provide links inside the description if you guys want to check it out yourselves, but I just wanted to give you guys a basis of what's been happening, of what's happened at Gamescom already, and it's pretty awesome. We've seen lots of gameplay, we've seen lots of characters being revealed, and of course we saw an awesome trailer. And I'm looking forward to it. I believe that we won't be getting anything much more for a while. Um, Darksiders 3 does release in exactly three months, so I'm looking forward to playing that and I cannot wait. So yeah. What do you guys think about the gameplay right now though? Tell me what you guys think about it. Do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? Do you guys like the direction the game is going for? Do you guys don't like it? Just leave your honest thoughts down below and we can have a nice discussion. That being said, thank you guys for watching nonetheless. As I mentioned before, my school schedule has started so things will be different in terms of uploading, but no worries. Just follow me on Twitter and you know I'll just keep you guys updated regarding everything that happens. That being said, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to share the video and be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is deeply appreciated. Thank you guys once more. This is Savage Jordan here. Peace, late, and see you guys in the next Darksiders 3 video. I'm out to have a lovely, awesome, splendid day.